Hey guys, it's Robin, and welcome to the Science of Self-Care. Today we're going to be talking about vitamin D, and I'm sitting here on a sunny day in Amsterdam, and I'm not being sarcastic because today is actually quite a bright day for Amsterdam in January. There are some days where it goes from black night to dark gray back to black night, but today there's quite a lot of light. However, definitely not enough to meet my daily needs of sunlight for vitamin D production through my skin. So vitamin D is the one type of vitamin that we don't most efficiently get from our food, but actually from sunlight. The ultraviolet light in sunlight hits our skin and transforms a type of cholesterol under our skin into vitamin D3 or cholecalciferol. And this is the most potent form of vitamin D. There's also a type of vitamin uh, D called vitamin D2 that is sometimes added in fortified foods. This type of vitamin D is also the type found in mushrooms. The current thinking is that this form of vitamin D is not quite as potent as vitamin D3, uh, which is what we get from animal-based foods and most efficiently sunlight. Medical professionals estimate that 10 minutes of strong direct sunlight a day would be enough for most adults. However, during the winter it's suggested that it's at least two hours of direct winter sun. Both of these estimations are not taking into account that most people are wearing SPF when they're out in the sun or in the winter they're wearing long sleeves and totally bundled up. So even with this amount of sun exposure that may not actually be enough and there are several different studies that have shown that about half of Americans are actually deficient in vitamin D and that is linked to a number of issues with bone health and a compromised immune system. Essentially what vitamin D does for our body is allow us to better absorb and utilize minerals. So you can be eating all the calcium in the world but if you don't have enough vitamin D you're not going to be able to utilize that calcium. Our bodies also get a lot worse at making and absorbing vitamin D as we age. So for younger people you may currently not be dealing with any issues related to vitamin D but it's something to keep in mind later on in life. There are a few dietary sources of vitamin D the most potent forms are found in animal-based foods like fish, uh, meats, and egg. If you do follow a vegan or vegetarian diet, it's a good idea to make sure you are getting enough sun and especially in the winter, consider supplementing your diet with a vitamin D supplement. Because vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, you want to make sure you are consuming that supplement with a meal or at least with some sort of fat source. I often also consume my vitamin D supplement along with my omega-3 fatty acid supplements, but at least I always know there's a little bit of fat in there. Whether or not that actually helps is questionable, but it's a nice thought at least. If we go on a nice sunny holiday over the summer, we can store a good amount that can even potentially last us through the winter. However, because we can store it in our body, it's also important if we are taking supplements to not take too much and be conscious of the dosage. A good amount that is recommended for most adults is 1,000 international units, which is 25 micrograms. Certainly, if you are taking a vitamin D supplement without the guidance of a medical professional, you definitely don't want to exceed this amount. It's always a good idea to actually talk to your doctor about the supplements you are considering taking and to make sure you get blood work done to understand the context of your body's nutritional needs. A doctor, based on your blood work, might prescribe greater amounts of vitamin D in a supplement form. However, I definitely would not go over that amount if you're just adding vitamin D on your own. This is the amount of vitamin D I take every day, but again, that's completely irrelevant for you because each of our bodies is so different. It's pretty evident from my skin tone and the color of my hair. I used to be blonde in California that I don't get a lot of sunlight here, so I make sure to supplement my diet and I also like to include plenty of fatty fish in my diet. Examples of fatty fish include salmon, mackerel, herring, sardines, the point of this video isn't really what I do, but just to give you some more information on vitamin D and to maybe help you reflect upon where you might be getting your vitamin D and if you might perhaps be in the half of adults who are deficient in vitamin D. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Beautiful, beautiful sunlight. Cloud light.